anyways just close this document and uh, stop recording always remember to stop recording when you're done and uh, finally uh, quit Photoshop and the reason you're quitting Photoshop is because when you quit Photoshop the action gets saved uh, in fact all the actions you've made uh, get saved uh, up, up to the point well just trust me this saves the action <laughs> and uh, now when we open it back up you'll see that the actions are there now if we didn't quit Photoshop and we kept working and maybe a day or two later um, Photoshop crashes uh, if we forgot to quit before it crashed then all those actions we made uh, will get lost right that's gonna suck it, it'll still save all the actions you made uh, you know before that but um, the actions you made kind of before the last quit, I guess you can say, um, will get lost. So that's kind of what I wanted to emphasize. All right, so here we go. Um, now we got to do a batch action. So it's pretty simple to do a batch action. You open up Photoshop, you go to your little action that you made, and um, now we're going to make an action that plays this action, then it plays this action, then it plays this action. Not in that order, but um, it's going to it's going to do that. So we'll make another one. This is going to be called um, the uh, primary 360 edit. Okay, now you can click record, and while it's recording, we can um, uh, actually shoot. You know, I made a mistake. I'm going to click stop recording. I'm going to open up an image, right? So please do this with me. Open up an image. Now hit the uh, record button. I hit stop recording when I open up the image because otherwise Photoshop would have recorded that and we didn't want Photoshop to record me opening up that image so that's that's the explanation for that sorry about that you know there's a lot of things I gotta remember and do for this tutorial uh, yeah, I'm doing my best so there you go anyways um, alright so we got, we got this opened um, hasn't recorded anything yet fortunately and uh, now what we're gonna do is we're going to first play the curves hue set so I'm gonna uh, select it and then I'm going to click play Boom, done with that. Now I'm going to click Crop. I'm going to play that. And then finally, I'm going to click Save. And I'm going to play that. There you go. And you'll notice that this action, um, which is, by the way, still recording. We're going to have to hit the Stop Record button in a second. Um, recorded us playing the other actions. Isn't that cool? So it's actually, every time we play just this action, it's going to play uh, this action, then this action, then this action. That's pretty awesome. So I'm going to hit stop recording, and uh, you know that's going to be uh, a pretty powerful action we're going to be able to use now. It's actually kind of an object-oriented program. It's a program that has other programs in it, and you made it by yourself. Isn't that cool? All right, so what I'm going to do again is I'm going to quit Photoshop just to be safe, and uh, I'm going to open up Photoshop again. And uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a batch action. I'm going to tell Photoshop to run that action, that new, new, new action I just made, on all of the images inside of this folder right here. And uh, what it's going to do is we're going to notice that it's going to basically um, fill up this entire folder with all of those new images. And uh, we're not going to have to do a single bit of manual labor to, uh, to do that. So here we go. I'm not going to open up all these. You don't have to do that. It could crash Photoshop, and that's the worst thing you want. Um, so we built this action specifically so your your Photoshop can work its best by by working on one image at a time, really, really quickly. Okay, without uh, taxing it. And uh, so let's do that. So select the action you want to work on, and uh, that's uh, or select the action you want to uh, you know do the batch action thing. That's going to be primary 360 edit. Okay. And next, after that, you're going to go to File, Automate, and then go to Batch. And then once we're here, you'll notice that uh, there's this little thing called Play, and it just asks us, hey, which action do you want to play? And this, the set, remember, that's just the, uh, the folder. So the set is 360 actions. And then the action is what we already selected primary 360 edit. Now if I had another one selected then it would automatically fill it out with the one I just most recently selected over here. Alright, does that make sense? And uh, then we got a couple options down here. We got import, which we'll never do, and we got folder. And folder lets us choose um, uh, exactly uh, where you want Photoshop to go into to do the work on the images. Does that make sense? So in other words, um, it's asking us, hey, I'm going to run this batch action. 
what images do you want me to run it on? And I say to Photoshop, I want you to run it on all the images in this folder somewhere on my computer. And then Photoshop says, OK, and it does that. So that's what that is. Um, the other option is open uh, open f uh, files, but we don't have any files opened in Photoshop. But if we had this selected and we had images in Photoshop, then Photoshop would run that batch action. It would just run that action over and over again on all of those images that I have opened in Photoshop, and it wouldn't stop until it finally gets to the last, last image. Okay, but like I said, we're not going to worry about that one right now because we don't have any images open in Photoshop, and we also don't want to do that because if we do do that, uh, then if you have a if you have 30 full you know huge full res images open up in Photoshop all at the same time, a lot of the times it could crash your computer, and like I said, that's bad. So let's not do that. So we're going to do it from the folder, and that's the whole reason why we're doing this in the first place. Okay, so now we've got to choose the folder. So got some choices here. Uh, now I can choose. Now the quickest and easiest way is literally to select the ones that you want. And uh, this is a little trick. Just drag and drop them. That's it. And there it is. They're all selected now. Okay? So, here we go. Um, you click uh, choose. And uh, there it is. It's all selected. Um, we, got it, uh, we got it in the right folder. And uh, then you click OK and uh, it's going to start running the action. And you'll notice that uh, it's going pretty quick. It's going a lot faster than a human can go. And uh, if I press tab, this is a little trick of the trade, it'll make Photoshop run uh, about 50% faster. It's really fast. Um, if you time it, you'll see a difference most of the time. It might vary from computer to computer, but in my experience, I've noticed it's about 50%. So. The nice thing is that we can actually see all these images being added in this folder we're telling it to add the images to. And I don't know about you, but I think this is pretty damn cool. Um, and it should be done pretty soon. Um, and uh, it looks like we got about 30 images. It's got a little bit more to go. I think it's about maybe uh, almost there. All right, cool. There it is. All done. So um, what I want to do is uh, I'll want to put it into another folder I have. Uh, I, I label my folders with this kind of configuration. O for original, F for finished, and S, uh, FW for save for web. And then inside each of here, I would have um, all the products. In case, and in this case, um, we just have one product. Um, but if I had you know 10 or 20 uh, different kinds of products, then they would all go in here for the finished. Uh, then the same thing for the uh, originals, and the same thing for the safer webs. So we just got one product today. Uh, and uh, anyways, uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's what we got. So the last thing we want is we want to um, save all the images. These ones were kind of beta tests ones I did earlier just to make sure it all worked. It did. Um, but uh, we need to make them again. So what we're going to do here is we're going to uh, make an action that's going to save this as a uh, JPEG image um, in a folder somewhere on my desktop. So here we go. Um, we're going to make a new action. And we're going to call this um, save for web. Click record. Now it's recording. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, go to file. And we're going to go to save for web and devices. And if you're really tricky, you can memorize the shortcut, which is command, option, shift, S on a Mac. Um, don't ask me what it is on a Windows. Figure it out. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean that. Um, I think it's like Control Alt Shift S for for Windows. Yeah, sorry, I sounded a little mean there, huh? Um, all right, so save, and we're gonna save it. Where are we gonna save it? Uh, remember, Photoshop will remember exactly where you um, save it every single time. So if you move that folder around or you drag it to the trash, then um, things are going to explode. It's really bad, so don't do that. Um, make sure you save it in a folder where you're not going to move it. Um, I do this so much that I need to have a folder on my desktop and uh, really easy to access. And in this case, we're going to call it um, just 360 Save for Web. Um, 360 space capital S AVE space FOR space WEB. Um, and uh, there it is. So what I'm going to do is save it. Um, in this case, I already have a couple of them saved in there from a previous project. 
I don't need them anymore. Um, and I already have them saved somewhere else, so I'm just going to click replace. And uh, that's that. Okay, cool. Um, and then I can click close and uh, don't save. And uh, there it is. So now we're going to do a batch for this one called Save for Web. So we go to File, go to Automate, and we go to Batch. And we're going to run a batch action on all of the PSDs. And we're just going to turn them into JPEGs. So got this and this right and we're going to select the folder we got to choose the folder in this case um, we don't want to have JPEGs uh, they, these are actually the original JPEGs we don't want those we want the PSDs drag and drop them over and uh, now we have the right folder selected in this case it's the F folder for the finished with all the PSDs in there that's good okay and click choose and then click OK and it's going to start running and uh, we'll notice that if we go over to our um, oops. Ah, all right it's a little hard to click it when the action's running um, you'll notice here that we have uh, all of our finished images being saved right now and uh, there they are isn't that cool all right There is another project that we were working on. A shoe. Delete these ones, don't need these. Alright. And we're done. Alright, cool. And uh, yeah, I can just look at these and uh, we have a nice product with a white background. Um, from here, um, we would upload the images to imageize.com, and uh, the, that's basically a platform for displaying your 360-degree uh, images um, online. It's got a 360 view player. It rocks. You should use it. All right. Thanks a lot. Uh, and again, this is Michael from Imageize, uh, and uh, I hope this helps. All right. Thanks.